Let's use Minitab to conduct a linear regression analysis. Open up the file gb 34 linearregressionmpj It's a Minitab project. When you open it up, the worksheet looks something like this. We can see that we have call volume, calls resolved, average wait time, and calls abandoned. The calls abandoned is my Y variable. In our correlation study using scatter plots, we found out that average wait time was the only variable that had a relationship with calls abandoned. Let's quickly take a look at that graph. And that graph is right here. Make it big. And you can see that average wait time, as it increases, so does calls abandoned. So let's see if we can conduct a linear regression on these two variables and get the analysis of variance, the p-values, and the regression equation. So we're going to use stat, regression, and Minitab calls this when we're looking at a linear regression, when we look at just two variables, a fitted line plot. So select fitted line plot, and let's get it set up. My response, my output y, is calls abandoned. My predictor, my input x, is the average wait time. The type of regression, it's linear. Graphs. What we're going to do is take a look at the residuals. And this is very important when we're doing regression analysis. We're going to use standardized residuals because that converts it to a standard normal distribution. And we know that the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. So we're going to use standardized residuals. And let's go ahead and select the 4 and 1. And that's going to give us a histogram, a normal plot, the residuals versus the fits, and the residuals versus the order, all in one. And one of the things that we're looking for is the residuals need to be normally distributed with 95% of their values within plus or minus two standard deviations. We'll check all that once we generate those graphics. All right, in the options, we would like to have a confidence interval for the regression line and a confidence interval for the prediction interval. So that gives us an, an understanding of just how accurate our regression equation is besides the line that we have of best fit. Now we could type in a title here and this is going to be our call center regression analysis. Better have two, two S's in there. All right, here we go. And now we can say, okay, we're not going to store anything. All right, so here is our four in one plot. The first thing we want to look at is our residuals, are the residuals normally distributed? We can see that they follow along this line in our residual plot, and they're tightly hugging that. We can look at our histogram, and we can see that at least 95% of the values are falling within plus or minus two standard deviations. The fitted values um, versus the standardized residual doesn't look like there's any kind of a pattern there, and there doesn't seem to be any kind of a pattern going on in our observation order for any of the data. And it just looks like standard, you know, just nice natural random patterns of variation. So that's good. Now we can take a look at the fitted line plot. All right, the fitted line plot, the dotted red lines is our 95% confidence interval about the regression line. The dotted green lines are the 95% confidence interval about the prediction. Here's our regression equation. Calls abandoned is equal to minus 14.44 plus put 9.924 times the average wait time. It has an R-squared value of 82.5%. So what that's telling us is that 82.5% of all of the variability that we see in the calls abandonment rate is predicted by changes that we're seeing in the average wait time. So the average wait time, as it changes, it explains 82.5% of the variation that we see in the abandonment rate. 
So that's a pretty strong relationship. Let's take a look at the session window. And in the session window, we'll be able to take a look at the statistics. So let's scroll up here a little bit. And the first thing that we have, it's giving us the regression equation. And it's giving us our R squared value. But now we have to take a look at the analysis of variance. Notice that our P statistic is 0 0.000. That is much, much less than 0 0.05. So that tells us that beyond a shadow of a doubt, as we change the average wait time, it does influence the call's abandonment rate. And it predicts 82.5% of the variation that we see in the call's abandonment rate. So that's a pretty strong relationship for one variable versus one outcome. Next was our plot. So that is our regression analysis in Minitab. So I'm just going to leave you with the regression fitted line plot, and that is how you conduct a regression analysis in Minitab. Now we can use this equation to make predictions. So if my average wait time was 30, I can come up here and I can pick it up off of my line, and I can see that we should have an abandonment rate of about 12, or I can take 30 and multiply it by 0.9244 and add to it minus 14.44, and that will give me the value of the calls abandoned. And its accuracy is going to be with a standard deviation of, of, of about 5.8. So the standard deviation is about 5.8. There's 82.5%. So there's still some uncertainty, as we can see, by the width of our prediction interval. And we can see that there is some scatter about the line. So it's not perfect, but it does give us a good idea of what's going on. So that's how you conduct a regression analysis, a linear one, using a fitted line plot in Minitab.